Good morning, Agape. Welcome to day three of our 10 days of fasting and prayer. I'm Brenda Sanders, and this morning I have some good news and some bad news. Revelation chapter two commends the church at Ephesus for their great work and so much more. Initially, they were totally sold out and in love with the Lord. But the bad news and our prayer focus today is in verse four and five. It reads, but I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen and repent and do the deeds you did at first, or else I am coming to you and will remove your lampstand out of its place unless you repent. Will you join me in the spirit of prayer as we pray the scripture to the glory of God? Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your word, for the truth of your word. Thank you for writing to that church at Ephesus. We seal it in our hearts and spirit as a way of worshiping you, Lord God. And we also personalize these words in our hearts this day. You wrote them to the angel of the church at Ephesus. We apply them to all the members and the angel of our church at Agape. Lord God, will you bless Pastor Perriman and his family? Cover them with your banner of love. May it never be said for us that we left our first love. You, Lord Jesus. In serving the kingdom, may we never, ever forget the king. And Lord, if you see us leaving our first love, would you gently, Lord, nudge us back to you and then that we will give you the glory in all that we do. Lord, make us remember the heights from where we fail. Lord God, just bring to our remembrance the joy, the zeal, the passion that we had for you when we were first saved. Father, I pray that, uh, that we will remember the greatest gift that you gave us, the gift of salvation through your son, Jesus Christ. You woke our dead souls and gave us life abundantly and eternally. May we find ourselves spending time in worship prayer, reading and studying your word. And Lord, if we fail because a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets up, we have a 100% guarantee because you told us that if we repent and go back to what we did at first, that it will be pleasing in your sight. So Father, may we remember, may we repent, and then may we return to you. We do not want you to come back and remove our lamp among the churches, individually and collectively. Father God, as only you can, will you keep and make us a living and loving church for your glory and for one another. May we always love God, love his people, and then watch you work. Amen. Agape, may his peace be with you. Until we meet again, either here, there, or in the air. God bless you and have a great day.